Hey guys. Hope you guys are having a good day. Uh, yeah, see, I'm feeling a lot better. Even though I really think he pulled the wrong tooth. But when we tell us, the rest of the swelling goes down. So by tomorrow, I should be able to see and look and probe in there without it coming apart. Uh, yeah, I think I, I start bleeding like right after it's pulled out. So, um, it's, it's pretty interesting though, because I haven't talked to my uncle on the other side for a lot of years. So, it was really interesting. Okay, so I go to the dentist and I'm telling him, you know, the black one. Because, I, cause, you know, yesterday I was talking like this, right? Because I really couldn't talk yesterday. So I'm like, the black one, the black one, the black one. The tooth he pulled didn't have no black on it, you know? And I can see, after I took the gauze stuff out, and I just took my nail and moved the gums a little bit, it looked black. So, we'll see. Yeah. And if it's still there, all y'all that live in, like, New York and stuff, the, the scream that you're going to be hearing is mine when I cuss his behind out. If that's not just, you know, drying blood in there. Anyway, so on my way home... No, I was actually... Because when he... I'm just big. I don't need a lot of that Novocaine stuff. And he must have shot me about eight times. Which means I was really high. You know. I mean, I was slurring my words. And it wasn't because of the little bit of infection that's still in there. Um, and I didn't get... A prescription for penicillin. How do you let somebody leave the dentist's office without giving them any penicillin? You knew I. I mean, you know, they said, "Well, you should." My sister's. Well, I'll, I'll remind you to ask. She forgot, and I forgot. So, anyway, um, so I'm sitting there. My sister's, you know, over there talking to her husband. And I'm like, okay, I know all this is happening for a bigger reason. What is it? So, anywho, instantly, I saw my Uncle Arnold. And he's, I mean, it's like I just saw him yesterday kind of thing. And pow, he's right in my face. And I'm like, okay. Oh, wait, no, back up. Let me back up. Let me back up. First, I heard Arnold. And I said, Arnold. And then, pow, then I saw his face. And I said, okay, so what are you here to tell me? And then all I saw was a huge no. And then I saw my sister's face. So anyway, yeah, I told her all about it after we got home and settled in. And, and trying, to, trying to eat a, a hamburger on this side of my mouth. Hey, I did. Okay, yeah. I heal pretty fast. My mouth heals really fast, thank God. So it's not like I was... Anyway. So, I gave her the message and um, she knew, she knew what I was talking about because, you know, I told her the time and everything and she mentioned what she was talking to, you know, about her husband and stuff. And Anyway, yeah, so it's all good. So, I know it probably sounds really retarded, but even if I went through this whole thing just to deliver one message, it was still worth it, you know, because whatever you need to know is important to you. So, but yeah... I feel a little bit better. A lot of the, a lot of the swelling has gone down, even though it looks like I'm still talking crooked a little bit. But at least I can open my jaw. <laughs> so hey, I'm feeling better. They told me to drink some coffee, so I made some coffee, and it's gone down a lot now. It's just to here, and before it was way over here, to here. So now it's just here to here. So it's it's getting there. It's getting there. So I feel a lot better if, uh, you know, as soon as he calls Walgreens and prescribes me some penicillin. But yeah, so I'm, I'm happy about that. And then um, I'm still trying to put together what I dreamed last night. Because I'm telling you that stuff, oh man, it just, I mean, yeah, it takes away the pain. But too much of it just makes me high. And then he drips some, so I'm swallowing Novocaine. Anyway, it's all good. Feeling a lot better. At least I can think a little clearer now. And, you know, life's pretty good. So I'm taking the day off. I, I had plans, but I emailed and I'm like, you know, I'm just going to sit here and veg out. I'll start your necklaces and stuff tomorrow. And life's just going to go on. 
put my little bat sign out as my friend calls it on Yahoo instant message bring ice cream or yogurt bring yogurt <laughs> you know so yeah feeling pretty good and I'm just gonna sit here and watch movies all day go for a walk around the block and that's about it keep on keeping on put my teeth back in yeah, most of my swelling has gone down now. Feeling pretty good. A-OK. -okay. And I can't wait for December 1st when my medical kicks in. And then I'm going to go to the doctor. I'm going to go back to doing it the way I used to do. I go to the Western doctor. And, you know, do whatever they say to do. And then I take it to the Eastern doctor. <laughs> he had to give me herbs and stuff. And we have... Um, I know of two now that are pretty close to me that I can try and hopefully work out a payment plan around, you know? So, yeah, things are getting gooder and gooder and gooder. I got two more clients, so one, two, three more clients to make jewelry for, so that's going to get done by, what's today, Thursday? That'll be done by Sunday, excuse me. So I'll give you some more. Yeah. Okay. Go have a great day. I think I'll make me some more coffee. Because this... Okay, maybe it's just in my head. But hey, I want it to go away. So I'll drink a little bit more scalding hot coffee to help this stuff in there dissipate. So, there you have it. Being sick really isn't all that bad in the grand scheme of things especially if you get an important message for somebody and again I don't advocate this to everybody and I'm not saying you're weak you shouldn't do it if you don't if you're not on a steady regime of meditation and knowing your body and knowing your spirit but if you're the type of person that's you know depressed or I don't know whatever I don't recommend it okay you, you got to be in in you have to have the ability to be in your right mind for that time being so you have to be able to call on your spirit guides and say okay you guys know I'm out in my right mind help me out okay what's going on okay unk what's the message okay I'll deliver the message and then I fall asleep I don't know I was probably gonna sleep about two minutes really because he came in and pulled tooth out but you have to be able to get get and be in control for that time. Again, you know, you have to be able to focus. Focus, 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 even with the drugs. You know, you have to. And if you can't, don't do it. Like I said, if you're under some medication, you're depressed, bipolar, schizophrenic, whatever, don't do it. Um because it's it's not a it's not an easy thing to do. It's not a fun thing to do, especially when if you're not feeling well. Uh, but I know that there's a greater purpose, so I instantly look for the greater purpose. Focus, tune in for half a second, ground myself. I say, okay, you guys, you know I got drugs in my body, so hey, help a girl. Come on, all you spirits, angels, teachers, and guides, fairies, cherubs, angel, everything. You know, hold a girl down. Okay, get the message. Okay, Phew, gone. And then they can go do on doing whatever they were doing out there in the universe. And everybody could be happy. You know? So, hey. I feel good that I did that one thing. My body's feeling better. I don't feel hazy anymore. And life goes on. Again. If you're not used to doing it, haven't been doing it for a few hundred years, I don't recommend it. I do not. I've seen... Well, I can't mention any. Actually, you know, I'll get permission. See if she'll let me use her her name and and her name and her name. Yeah, I know three people in my own personal life that you know they thought they could you know go out there and talk to spirit while they were you know depressed or high or drunk. And one of them, well, anyway, it was it ended up not being very pretty in all three cases. Just so you know, one girl who lied on spirit got her gift taken away. Uh, the other girl who was like high and trying to do readings, she got sicker. Yeah, it's it's not funny. You really have to learn to be in control for the time being. Anywho, enough of that. Uh, go have a great day. Love you. Be good to yourself. 
and I'm going to see whatever's coming on next on TV and make me another pot of coffee. Another pot of coffee. Another cup of coffee. <laughs> okay, go have fun. Love you.